Hey, this is Ian Franzen, the College Web Pro. What's better than an email? A free professional domain email. So all the College Web Pro plans come with an email that you can have, um, like uh, you know your name at yourcompanyname.com or whatever domain name you registered. So a professional domain email address looks a lot better than a free email like a Gmail or a Hotmail. It's also a great way to advertise your website. Um, so the, the way I'm going to show you how to set it up now is to link it to a Gmail account so that all email sent to your new professional domain email will get forwarded automatically to your Gmail account. And when you reply to a message there, outgoing messages will show your new professional domain email. So this is a great way to set it up so that you're still using Gmail to manage all your messages. Um, but um, your the only email address that someone else would see would be your professional domain email. So you still get to use all the Gmail features, um, but people are only seeing the professional domain email. So to do this tutorial, you should have a few things in place already. You should already have a Gmail account, and you should be logged into that account. You should have a College Web Pro account. So if you click Client Login, it should log you into your account. And you should also have an email already set up. Um, you, you might not know if you have one set up if you log into your cPanel. So if you go to your domain name .com cPanel, it'll take you to your cPanel. You might have to log in. Um, I have a tutorial on that, but the, the login information for your cPanel is in the original Welcome to College Web Pro email. But if you log into your cPanel, you should see the domain name created under, or I'm sorry, you should see the email address already created when you log in and click on email accounts. It should be in here already. If you don't see an email account created yet, you can go ahead and create the email here. It's pretty easy. You just put in the email and the password that you want in both of these fields. Click on create account and then um, you'll see it listed under here and then you're ready to get going. So. <clears throat> The first thing that you want to do um, to link this new email, so in this example video, the email address that I'm going to be linking is admin at collegewebpro.com. So I created this email here within my cPanel, and now I'm going to link it to my Gmail account, ian38937 gmail.com, so that incoming messages sent to admin at collegewebpro.com get forwarded to my Gmail and outgoing messages sent from this Gmail account just show admin at collegewebpro.com. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my the home page of my cPanel. And then I'm going to click on forwarders. And I set this up already, so I'm just going to delete it for an example. But you should just see um, when you click on forwarders here, you should see um, there's a button here that said add that says add forwarder. So you want to click on that button. Then you want to type in the email address that you want to forward. So in this case, admin, and you'll see your domain name listed here. So type in the email address that you already created, just the first part before the at symbol. And then type in the entire Gmail address that you want to forward to. So in this case, ian38937 at gmail.com. And then click on the button that says Add Forwarder. And now it says all email that is sent to admin at collegewebpro.com will forward to the Gmail account that I put in. So then click on Go Back. So you set up um, a forwarder. So all email now is all set up to forward. And now you're going to go to your Gmail account. You're going to click on settings. And then you're going to click on accounts and import. And then where it says check mail from other accounts, you're going to click on add a mail account. And in this box that comes up here, you're going to type in the entire professional domain email. So in this example video, admin at collegewebpro.com. And then I'm going to click on next. Next. For username, you want to enter in the entire email address, the professional domain email. So put in the email address. 
for password, you wanna put the password that you originally chose when you created the email account within your cPanel. So if you're not sure what that password is, you can go to your cPanel, click on email accounts, under the email address, click on change password, and you can reset the password if you want. Change password. So this is the password that you wanna use um, for your email account here. Um, to make sure I have that right. Um, and then for pop server, you wanna put in, this is the same for everybody, c16299.sgvps.net. And then for port, you wanna change it to 995. And then you wanna click on the box that says, always use a secure connection SSL. So make sure it's right. So you should have the email here, the cPanel password here, not the cPanel password, but the email password that you set in your cPanel. And then for pop server, c16299.sgvps.net, port 995, and then click on just this box here. Um, you want to make sure that you use a secure connection so that your email is secure. And then click on the button here that says add account. It'll test the settings, look like they worked. Um, and then now it'll ask you if you want to be able to send mail as you're the new email that you typed in. So click on yes, it should be selected already. And then click on next. Um, make sure your name is in there. Click on next. So the SMTP server should be the same server that you typed in before, c16299.sgvps.net. If it's not in there, type it in like that. Port 465. The username, again, should be the entire email address. And the password should be the password that you chose when you set up the email within your cPanel. Um, and then secured connection using SSL, recommended. And then click on add account. It'll check the credentials. It's gonna send you a verification email. So if you click on close window um, and you wait, you wait just a second here, it should take about, usually about 30 seconds. You'll see an email come in that asks you to verify um, that you own that new email, admin at collegewebpro.com. So it'll send an email there. Um, and twiddle our thumbs. Um, there we go. So we have Gmail confirmation, send mail as the new email. So you should see a long link here. You wanna click on that long link and then you wanna click on the button that says confirm. And now you can close that tab um, I know I'm moving a little fast here. You can archive that email. <clears throat> and now you wanna go to settings. You wanna click accounts and import. You should see the new email listed here under send mail as. Click on make default. So now that should be the default, the new email that you set up. Um, and then this is the last step. I'm just gonna set up an email signature um, just to make things look pretty. If you go, go to general, and then you scroll down to where it says signature, and then on the drop down menu, select the new email. You can type in a, a little signature here if you want. Um, you, know, you can add some, some formatting, um, generally your contact information. Um, you can put your phone number. You can also put a logo if you want. Um, if you put in the URL there, it'll allow, it'll allow you to put it in. Um, so once you put in the signature, scroll down, click on save. And now when you compose a new message, 
you'll see that it sends from admin at collegewebpro.com and the signature is in there. So you're all set. Um, if you want to test it out with another email, you can send a message just to make sure that the messages are coming into your Gmail account and you can um, send an outgoing message just to make sure that they're sending properly. But that's it. Um, now you have a new professional domain email that's connected to your Gmail account. Thanks so much for watching.